everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little story time about mine and Lance's wedding day. It's crazy to think that it's now been five years that we've been married, but it was one of the most special days that I'll never forget. Now if you haven't seen our wedding video, there'll be a link in the description to go and check it out and you can see like the, those, you know, sort of like a five minute video I think of our day uh, that was put together by a wedding photographer and videographer, Andy Mack, and it was, I mean it really does, you know, encapsulate the whole day and how special it was, but I guess I wanted to go into some of the details of, you know, the other things that we got up to on that day because the we got married at Bobby Castle which is it's just near Exeter but like in the in the moors and we had this most magical thing because what we were looking for was a place where all of our family and friends could come you know my family are from Plymouth Lance's family from America somewhere that we could all come together and be able to stay in one place under one roof and not have to worry about going home have all 120 guests be able to stay I think we ended up with 126 guests on the day so what we did is we had Bobby Castle on the Friday and the Saturday night and on the Friday we did like a rehearsal dinner for the closer family and the people that traveled from America so we had like an American style barbecue and this, I don't know, it was a really nice, like we had speeches from the uh, maids of honor. So my maid of honor was Sophie and Lance's maid of honor was his best friend, Ryan, because my best man was Sam, my cousin, and Lance's best man was his brother, Todd. So we had all of those stuff. So I guess we did that, the formalities of that, but it was nice just to be able to have all of our families together in one space because lots of our family hadn't met before because like they would have never been in the same room ever because why would they if, you know if they're transatlantic and all that kind of stuff so it was a really nice special dinner and then you know following tradition we stayed in separate rooms the night before and in the morning i went down for breakfast and lance stayed in the room and had breakfast in bed so we went downstairs and had a nice little you know i was having breakfast you know the nerves are kicking in everyone's coming up like how you feeling all that kind of because everyone was already there so went and had breakfast and at breakfast Todd, Lance's best man, came down and gave me a, like an Aspinall of London Union Jack bag that said, like had a little tag on it that said, break in case of cold feet. And then I was like, which was, he said it was my wedding gift. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna open it. I don't have cold feet, but like, I'm gonna open it. Like, cause I wanna see what's inside. I would got Lance like a custom necklace that had like, cause Lance and I always used to call each other frog and monkey, like by the emoji. So I had the frog monk emoji on one side and the monkey on the other, and the date of our wedding, like, engraved underneath so because he always wears a necklace so it's something to add on to that that he then has his like mum's ring on there as well so it, it, that was something that I got for him for the wedding day like a little wedding gift so anyway I go back up to where I was getting ready in my mum's room you know she was having like going up and getting her makeup and hair done I was you know having my have this bag and I was like well, I really want to see what's inside of it anyway so I break it open no cold feet, but I did break it open. And inside there was another like a, a hip flask. There was a bottle of vodka, some Diet Coke and some cufflinks. All like engraved with our date of our wedding and initials and things like that. So I guess the, the vodka was in case of the cold feet part and the hip flask was to just take it out on the road with me when I was going. I don't know what it was. But anyway, we got to that room and my mum saw the vodka and was like, okay, like that. And she was like, now we're talking. And it, but bearing in mind at this point, it was like half past 10 in the morning. And she was like, have you not opened the champagne yet, Tom? And I'm like, mum, calm down. Like we've got all day. And like the one thing I've noticed in the UK, our weddings are quite a lot more intense than in the US in terms of how long they are. So we got married and I think it's quite normal to get married at like 2 p.m. It was on and off whether we were going to get married outside or not. And we had to make the decision the night before and the weather was, we didn't know what the weather was going to do, whether it was going to rain or not. But we had to decide indoors or outdoors the night before so they could set up and have it ready. We decided outdoors and we thought, you know what, if it rains, it's a story to tell and we'll just do it and it'll be great. It'll be fine. We decided outdoors. We were getting ready, everything was all good. Um, on the, before we went down and got like actually married at two o'clock, my best man Sam and my maid of honor Sophie, we all had like some drinks, we had some champagne, we might have had a couple of vodka diet cokes. And I remember like Sam said, like, oh, we've got to do a shot before we go down. I'm like, Sam, I'm about to get married and I've already had a glass of champagne a vodka diet coke and now you want to do a shot like i'm not gonna be able to walk anyway did it didn't i so we got married down outside and it was like went in like two 
people on one side and two people on the other and we had this like narrow aisle to walk down and there was like bushes either side that we were put on either side so we couldn't see each other. I walked down the aisle first and then waited at the end and then Lance came down after me and by the way walking down the aisle that is something that's scary that stuff. That stuff's scary. Like, man, like when everyone's looking at you, I'm like, I'm gonna fall over. Like, there's one thing looking at people while I'm diving. There's another thing when I'm lo being looked at when I'm like doing, I don't know. It all just felt a lot. It felt a lot. So, I remember getting to the end of the aisle and then Lance coming around the corner and being just like, whoa. Like, he was wearing this blue suit with like red tie. It was like burgundy tie and I was wearing burgundy suit with a blue tie. Uh, actually custom designed by Christopher Bailey at Burberry at the time and that was, super special to be able to have that and always be, I, I mean I haven't worn my wedding suit since actually. So we got married, we said our own vows and we did all the signing underneath the little outhouse thing and we had like a little secret thing that only me and Lance knew about, no one else knew. And there's this thing where once we had the marriage papers and we lifted them in the air, it was a cue for a flash mob to start which is the London Gay Men's Chorus that came down the aisles and like my family thought there was like an intrusion I was thought there was someone who was gonna get hit but they started playing like the string quartet that we had started playing Bruno Mars think I wanna mar like marry you anyway they they came down the aisle singing that and doing a little dance and this, this whole thing and then at the end of that little thing before everyone else started getting up we left so that it was this like so we were able to get out first so then we had drinks receptions which were Kia Royales and some canapes while me and Lance went off and took some photos and then I revealed my cake to Lance that I've been working on with Cupcake Gemma who made this most amazing red, white and blue cake and it was absolutely delicious. Although I didn't really get to have any because you know on your wedding day you probably never get to eat it. And we still got it frozen somewhere in the fr freezer down in Plymouth. I don't even know if it's going to be any good anymore. That's a whole other story. So then for our food, we wanted something like with like traditionally what we, we loved. And we had, so the main, co main courses were um, Bangers and mash or beef wellington. Funnily enough, Lance is now vegetarian and wouldn't really eat either now. But at the time, those were our like classics. And then we had sticky toffee pudding or cheesecake for dessert, which was delicious. And then we did the speeches and like we all, it was, you know, traditional way of doing the speeches. There was best men speeches. My mum did a speech. Lance's stepdad did a speech. Then afterwards it was party time. Uh, we had like a little mini Cooper that had like a photo booth in it. Then we had fireworks at a certain point and there was dancing and far too much alcohol. And I can definitely say that the following day was the worst hangover of my life. And it was our wedding day. But I think it's because you don't really eat as much and you're talking to so many people and people just keep handing you drink and it's just like, and it's all kinds of different things as well. So it was just a lot and I, a lot of mixing and a lot of, you know, but it's your wedding day, you're gonna only do it once, aren't you? So it was, it's a really, really special day. And if you haven't seen my wedding video and you're still watching at this point, which is quite far in, I'm gonna give you a little refresher and you can watch it now. When Tom and I met four years ago, I knew instantly I was in trouble. I knew um, I'd met my match. I'd met someone who would inspire me, someone who I could admire, but also somebody who would naturally be my best friend. And it didn't hurt that he was incredibly cute <laughs> and charismatic. Within the first few minutes of conversation with Lance, Things suddenly and massively changed for me. I fell in love. Every single part of him, the way he thinks, the way he acts, and everything that he does just makes me fall in love with him every single day more and more. So there we have it. I hope you like that little story. Again, let me know if there's any other story times that you want me to tell you about and go into more detail about particular sections or whatever it may be. Let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you soon.